Good day, gentlemen. Before you get tired of me, I only have this this there's just two more rants. Welcome to the Upper Coke and a Smile rant. Um, this is another Aesop fable that I learned that I learned from in life with the fox, the cheese, and the crow. And <laughs> this story sing to me because I so want to sing, but I didn't have a singing voice. Now, if you know the story, you know how it goes. The crow had a piece of cheese, the fox was hungry, and he's trying to figure out, how do I get the cheese out of the crow's mouth? And he couldn't climb up the tree. What did the fox do? Flattered the crow. Flattered the crow. And I learned right then and that, that, that Aesop fable why vanity is one of the deadly sins. Those are deadly sins. I get to do that. Let me make a note of that. The deadly sins. I have to do that. Deadly sins. Sorry, gentlemen. But thank you for inspiring this. I get to do this. There's another set of rants. Vanity? I learned my lesson from vanity. Oh, yeah. No one can blindside me with that. I learned from the crow. The crow believed the hype. Hmm? <laughs> He thought he can sing. He thought he had a beautiful voice. I don't know how. It, it, maybe, maybe. You cannot tell me I don't sound like Luther Vandross or, or Prince or Maxwell when I'm playing the music while I'm in the shower. You can't tell me that I didn't record those songs. I know better. I listen to them and I listen to me. You can't flatter me with that. So another lesson. Don't lie to yourselves, gentlemen. This is why Shakespeare said to thine own self be true. And as night follows day, you'll be true to others. And the converse is true. See, people can't flatter you when you don't lie to yourself. Anyway, I know I can't say. So no one could flatter me with that. No, I was offered voice lessons, but I thought the teacher was making fun of me, so I never went. Maybe, maybe not. If, if, if I meet again, my music teacher in college, if I meet again, I'll take up on it. But the crow believed the hype. And I was asking myself, after hearing crows sing, how did the crow believe he could sing? The crow lied to himself. And that is why the fox could have lied to him when the crow heard the truth. That's a serious thing, gentlemen. Don't lie to yourself because when you lie to yourself and someone lies to you, you're going to hear the truth. <laughs> this is why when, when the science teacher said, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? That, that's a serious lesson. The crow lied to himself. And that's why the fox was able to lie to him and it sound like the truth. It not break my heart. The crow started to sing. And before the crow even know what happened, the fox jumped up, took his cheese, went on his merry way, left the crow still singing. Still didn't even see what caught on. Still didn't catch on to what happened. Still didn't see what happened. The crow lost his lunch, gentlemen. Don't lie to yourself. You're going to lose your lunch. Something just came to mind. And the fox went about his business with the crow's lunch. Now, I heard somebody said something. Well... It was a rapper. I don't know if it was Young Jeezy. I love Young Jeezy, by the way. Especially the first three albums. Um, he, someone was trying to bait him into, into, into doing something stupid. He was like, because people were saying, oh, I thought Jeezy was hard. I thought Jeezy was hard. So Young Jeezy said the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. Well, I expected from him based on his music. He said, I'm not going to let you trick me out of my position. Look at that. The crow was in the tree, the fox was on the ground. 
And the frogs didn't even have to climb the tree. No. Yeah. The crow, because he lied to himself, got tricked out of his, possess his possession and position. And the heartbreaking thing is, the crow didn't even realize it. He just kept singing. Gentlemen, the Aesop fable is serious business. Do not lie to yourself. The, the, it's going to cost you too much. You're going to be tricked out of your position. You're going to lose your lunch. <laughs> and you're going to be taken advantage of. And people aren't even going to have to try. The fox didn't even have to climb. Now that's another lesson. So this is why in my last um, rant, I told you about your blind sport. There are people who are going to take advantage of your blind sport. How did the fox know to use flattery? Hmm? Remember that the fox is a symbol of cunning. How did the fox know to use flattery? Gentlemen, this is why introspection was in the Empress Club. This is why introspection is so important. This is why you do not lie to yourself. The fox knew the crow's blind spot. And the crow did not know that his blind spot was his blind spot. He thought it was an asset and was used against him. Like my aunt always used to say, word to the wise is sufficient, and I gave you seven minutes of words. That's more than enough. Don't lie to yourself, gentlemen.